Hello folks and welcome back to Vinci's Survival. Here we are for episode 12 and we're still in November. It'll be 6th November for another episode so... Oh, we'll need to wash the pickups, absolutely filthy. But yeah, we've gone and spent the money we've had left. We've already spent 10 grand. And that is predominantly on some feed for the chickens. But also I gone and purchased some liquid fertilizer and herbicide for a new sprayer and I just remembered the feeding point is over here so let's go over here there we go just tip it over just take most of that yeah about half give or take so uh, not to worry about but yeah so we need to continue on the plowing because we need to plow, lime and spray was it the cornfields that we have and convert it into maize silage in the last episode so got about 440,000 litres, 5% fermented that will be ready for the next episode but yeah so what I'm going to do first of all is set the worker off on this jog team on the plowing and we're going to hop into a new John Deere here where are we to? Ah, we're just up here, so what actually... I'll go and return this, because we did purchase a second mulcher, just to speed the mulching up in that step, so as we're sort of getting towards the end of it, I thought we'd wrap things up by doing a little bit of a cheeky buy and sell. Technically we're not decent, and it ain't decent. Costs more than decent, but still, so... Because yeah, like in the last episode, we could have gone cheap out on the bunk for Silo and maybe bought some land. But yeah, 45 grand for that concrete Silo is a steep cost, but it is a worthy investment. And the fields in general are corn fields, as in, in the last episode, we are going to be field expanding. Just only by a few meters, but extra 0.1 or 0.01 or 0.05 hectares means extra crop for us and extra profits per field so overall it is worth it so paint that so yeah that was about uh, what 450 quid for the lease in so yeah overall not too bad and I will be clearing this up and you take all of our stuff back because getting a bit clustered here so got a front odor and actually we can buy the bucket right now or do we need to save up some money first of all ah uh, no we just need to save a little bit more so yeah I'm going to go with this size fork and yeah we'll go in with this the standard configuration technically it's for the handers but what we can get is a little cheeky adapter I'll come out on and yeah, we can go from front loader to yeah, front loader to Tayander, so that is another 250 quid, so yeah, in front of us much more money, but, but yeah, also we need things like pallet forks bell spike in the future when we go with bells, because I think, yeah, with silage and that we're going to get about 125 grand for that, and for this farm that that is absolutely huge, so, no, I don't want the fertilizer, I want the herbicide first of all. No. Nope. I want, wait a minute, am I going right here? Oh dang, I was right the first side, nah, bugger. Yeah, I want the herbicide. Don't spray our, what was it, outfield or sorghum. As I was saying, so yeah, I think it's. Ah, uh, was it? Have a look here. Yep, our oat field. So if we go with weeds, turn that on. Yep, they need spraying. Ah, uh, wait a minute. And 47, that's got cropping, right? Yep, so yeah, our oat fields, they need spraying. So yeah, that's why I've got, got this little handy liquid fertilizer and herbicide. 
tank and actually do we go with the extension on it so I think it'd be under sprayers uh, 350 litres so not very really worth it down the road yeah sure but for now no so that's fine so yeah these fields also need that second application of fertilizer yeah, I thought, why not? We'll just do it with this. We'll try it, see how it goes. If we use it all, like all the liquid fertilizer, then that's fine. And all we can just do next is just use the rest of the, uh, what was it, solid fertilizer. So, there we go. And we are spraying. Yeah, so this will help with the weed the situation. Yeah, overall, it's not too bad. You can just about see the difference. Yeah. Tell where we've been and have it been. And yeah, it's just a faster process getting rid of weeds. And where we're growing, where we're expanding, we need to do this. So, it's definitely worth it. And a worthy investment in equipment. So, let's go and get this done. And I'll see you folks once we're done with. At least the first two fields, and then we'll swap the workers over. We'll swap the worker over to uh, 46 to get that field extended. done with the herbicide work and yeah I've just been hopping around swapping about with the workers so yeah we're gonna do wheat and barley I did mention canola but we're not gonna do canola because what I'm gonna do with 46 that field is gonna be a grass field so once we harvest the oats later on in a couple of months time grass will be ready that size clamp Hopefully it will be empty by then. Touch wood. But yeah, with that, then what we can do is 46 and 47 is going to get merged in this together. And with all the money we're going to get in, that field is going to be a either potato field, sugar beet field, or even one of the new root crops, maybe. Probably not the new root crops because I don't think we've got a planter option at the moment to plant them. Obviously, yeah, I know, technically there is, but they're all early 2000s at the late, at the earliest. And we're in the 1980s, so we need to be a bit smart with it, so most likely it'll be potatoes or sugar beet. Well, yeah, sugar beet and that. 
yeah, I ain't gonna, ain't gonna be used for production. I ain't gonna further the process with, oh, let's make sugar and that, or make crisps and all that. Simply harvest it and then sell the crop. Or it be straight away or at its peak. I need to look at the prices because, yeah, they do take a while to grow. Potatoes' best time to sell would be January. And sugar be so, yeah. Most likely, what we'll do is we'll keep hold of it. Worst case scenario, store it at the train silo. Because, yeah, both of these can go to earning grant. So, why did I raise that up? But, yeah, so I think, yeah, herb siding is done. We need to fill that up. And then hop on to 47. And yeah, with this is wheat. 86 will be barley. So check this is wheat, right? Yep, this is wheat, so yeah, our fill will be barley. And then what we'll do, we'll get the rolling done. And yeah, then again with our other fields, the ones we're planning at the moment. Actually, that does include 86, so we'll get the lime done first of all. Oh, that means we have to empty the throwers to spread it right. Uh, that's not the end of the world, but it's just extra things for extra spaces and that. But yeah, since we've got the herbicide sprayer, we can sell. Uh, what was it? The weeder. Yeah, we're going to get about a grand or so for it, but. That would be enough, though, for what we want to do with the whole front loader situation, but even that's just for the bucket, so... Apparently that is done. No miss bits over here. So yeah, let's go and get that sorted. But yeah, we'll check the map. Have a look. Are we done with the weeds? Oh uh, no, it's missed two strips, so we'll get this refilled and then yeah, we'll go and get the rest of those sorted. And since we're down here filling up the spreader, let's go and sell the weeder, so repair paints, yeah. Yeah, say about a grand a grand and thirteen hundred quid, so Yep, again it's just making use of our assets and I think we will go for a loader and that, because I don't think we need to spend any money at the moment. But actually, that will be the test when it comes to... Ah... Uh, the lime and that, yeah. Fertilizer, we're fine with, because we've got a bunch of soil fertilizer. As a worst case scenario. Ooh. That was a bit iffy. Next question is, can this... Even has got the power requirement, can it manage it without a weight on it, so... Inspection seems fine. No, it's not, no, it's not weaning, that's good. That is good to see. The workers doing the plowing, that's good. Let me take care of this and just get this bit merged together. If we lose a little bit of crop, it's fine. Rather, I lose a little bit and actually merge the field together rather than leave like a tiny little space. So, yep, yeah, that's good. Obviously, we actually mulched a tiny little bit of the field, but. Overall, we're looking good. There we go. Perfect. So now, I'm just going to work on this. Get this finished up. I, you know, again, mentioned last episode. Rock picking. That's going to be an issue down the road at the moment. I'm not too worried on it, so... But yeah, next we need to focus on the liming, so... Actually, yeah, the only line we need to be done is the new field area, so 
Because so I thought, yeah, I thought a lot more of it needed lightning, but apparently not. It's just literally the new field areas, which, you know what? It's fine. I don't mind spending a bit for, not for us, a bit of light on that, because at the end of the day, it's all going to be worth it, so. Like that. Then we get this done. And then we'll focus on the drilling of. So yeah, if once we get started on 86, actually we're going to have to work our right behind us, right? Because I think this goes at 12 miles an hour, I think, or relatively high speed at least. We're starting to lose the lights here in November, so yeah, let's get cracking on rolling. There we go. We are rolling now. Missed the first bit there, but you know what? That is fine, so. What's the worker doing? What are you doing? Just. Oh, I don't say I forgot something. Have I missed stuff? No, I haven't, so... Why are you stopping? Just keep on rolling. Just keep on rolling. There we go. Just gonna let that do that. And then, yep, you know what? We'll take over... Do we take over here? No. We'll take over the spring, because that's an uh, issue, so... But yeah, overall, it is all coming together, and I'm thinking, have a bit of thought. How about we do the root crop field next year? Unless anything comes out between now and then, in terms of mods and that, I am really thinking about, yeah, just heck it, stupid potatoes, because it'll take five months to grow compared to seven months of sugar beets, so. Look at the prices as well again. So, compared to two, you're going to get a lot more sugar beets compared to potatoes. Only slightly, but there is a significant amount. So, and one thing I just want to check is weeding has been done. So, we've got a little bit left. So, here's a little section here, so I think, yeah, it's just one strip do. That bit there, if you see it, we will get sorted, but... Yeah, I don't think next what we'll do is just crack on with the fertilising, so... All 
all the fields needs fertilizer, at least one application. Some requires two, but we want that is fine. And this ain't our field, I'm heading towards two. Oof, I don't know why we break our equipment. There we go, that's a bit here. And I'm wondering, is it worth doing the pre application of herbicides? Because you can do that pre application, you know, where you put a bit of fertilizer down or a bit of herbicide down as a pre application. So when the rolling's done, we can just do whatever we want. And actually, we have some left over, I think we will. Do we get a, like a texture difference? Yes, we do. That'd be nice, and uh, the answer is no. I know you'll get with the fertilizer, but. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying that, actually, we do. Right? Ah, we do. So actually, you know what? I think, in fairness, it's a bit of a break. No, I'm going to get a bit done because otherwise I'm going to forget it. But you know what? Let's do a pre application of herbicides. The fertilizer ain't a major concern at the moment. We'll always put some more down later on. But yeah, if we can get a pre application down, it will save on the weed in a run and. That would save potential yield loss as a yield penalty. Even if they grow in the first stage, we still get a penalty. So, what I'm thinking is, how much are these? Only a grand, and, well, we've got a grand left, so, let's make the most of this. So, I think we will wrap up the episode here. we cracking on well, doing a lot of work now. Making good progress, so... Let's finish off by getting all this done, and I'll see you folks in December, I think, to wrap up the episode here.
go. We are in December now, so everything's done. All we need to do is put that last application off for those one fields, but yeah, apart from that, we are looking good. Uh, what I'm going to do at the moment is clean our machinery, or at least clean to the best of our abilities. I uh, do have a bit of servicing required on these stuff, so let's go and just service everything. And yeah, the main ones is the pickup and the Fiat, but. No, 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 let's not use this. Let's use John Deere, so. We've got it sewed up with liquid fertilizer. And yeah, I just wanted to do a quick test. And that will be on the contract field of 56. So. There we go. Here it is, 56. And what's that about? Five past this will hard to complete its contract. Just yes, yeah, I want to see. Is actually worth doing. So we'll get us all lined up. There we go. Turn it on. And yeah, be interested to see whether or not this is worth it, how much it consumes. And yeah, overall, I'll say it's not consuming too much. Now, if we have a look at the contract, so. 4%, so. To do this one contract would pretty much require a thousand litres, so instead of paying a grand for this, I'm getting thirty five hundred pounds, euros. Need to sort that out. I keep on saying that, but you know what I mean, but still that is a twenty five hundred profit. I'm still have five hundred euros left for whatever or sells or I think that is worth more, value-wise, doing this is more profitable compared to using the, um, was it, the bulk uh, solid fertilizer from the multi-crop greenhouse mod, so, if I go to here a sec, so, L, M, so yeah, these stuff here, so, because you yeah, have six grand for, I think, yeah, in the future, when it comes to fertilizing, since liquid fertilizing, get those little tanks and that. Yeah, I know other options are available, and this is maybe one of the cheaper options, but hey, we can buy barrels, so why complain about it? But uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do with this, so if I have to sell the spreader. Oh, no, we won't because we need a line, but yeah, two grand. But in hindsight, probably not worth doing because yeah, the amount we have coming in, it's not really worth just doing little things like that. The yeah, only for two fifty for the loader stuff and that, basics for the silage, but these contracts are going to be profitable, so. What I'll do in between episodes is get these three done. And then, yeah, we'll move on to size work. And then, fertilizing our other fields. But, anyways, that's what I think we'll leave it today. We got a lot of work done. Huge progression speed. And if we have a look, I think with the weed in, that should be good. Yep, the performance rain did work. How the hell I did miss that? Dang it. But you see, it works. Obviously, ooh, going off the track there, that's for a waste of fertilizer. But yeah, the concept of pre applying herbicide on the field before the wheat grows works. So, yeah, I am excited for that and just proves a point. So, but anyways, I said that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be on my guest. If not, subscribe to me, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this is me from Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.